Ok, hola, ¿cómo están? Otra vez, buenas tardes. Digo otra vez porque en la mañana estuvimos de congreso aquí en el ILSE, Instituto Latinoamericano de la Comunicación Educativa. Nos encontramos de fiesta todo el día y hoy con invitados de honor. Tenemos a Carolina, a Lili, a Carmelo y a Verónica. Con nuestros invitados estaremos platicando sobre un maravilloso proyecto de una comunidad global. Esto es con toda la intención de invitarlos, que participen con nosotros y podamos estar con ustedes al mismo tiempo. La transmisión será posiblemente en inglés, posiblemente en español, posiblemente en portugués, posiblemente en italiano pero trataremos de hacer esta comunidad global una sola comunidad. También nos acompaña del equipo de AMECAP, que es de nuestra alianza, la doctora Ana Laura. Esperamos Gracias. que esto les encante, les guste mucho y les tenemos una gran sorpresa que empezará el próximo lunes. Welcome. Welcome to our event and all the area is yours. Muchas gracias, Lula. Uh, yo soy Carolina, yo soy from, uh, de Brasil, estoy acá en Brasil ahora y me gusta mucho estar aquí y compartir un poco de, uh, de nuestra experiencia de, de Learning Creative Learning con ustedes. Hola a todos, uh, yo soy Carmelo. Um... Soy italiano, no hablo español muy bien, pero hablo italiano, inglés, eh, puedo intentar. Uh, soy muy feliz de estar uh, uh, aquí uh, con vosotros. Eh, gracias Lula, Ana Laura, all the or organizadoras por, um, uh, por invitar a nosotros <laughs> a hablar de Learning Creative Learning. Hola, uh, yo soy Lili, um, hablo muy, muy poquito español, uh, so I will be speaking English tonight, um, and I'm very happy to be here with you and excited to talk more about the project and about the project um, with LCL in Mexico. Um, para empezar, uh, os gusta, si pudieran uh, también participar con, uh, por medio de, de YouTube, diciendo tu, tu nombre y de dónde eres. Uh, nos gustaría mucho que pudiese participar durante la presentación um, que uh, uh, iremos a hacer. ¿Sí? Entonces, si quisiera decir uh, quién, so, quién soy y de dónde, where, uh, de dónde estás uh, conectando y... y a ese momento sería muy bueno. <risa> ya estoy mostrando portugués con español, pero todo bien. Uh, entonces, vamos a empezar a hablar un poquito de lo que es LCL. Y, y también uh, durante la presentación uh, uh, vamos a hacer un, algunas preguntas para que también puedan uh, Compartir un poco de su propia experiencia con un aprendizaje creativo. Lili. Y just wanted to also uh, welcome. We're very happy to have that Vero is joining us today. I don't know, Vero, if you want to introduce. Bueno, sí, me da mucho gusto que mis grandes amigos, Carolina, Lili, Carmelo, Lula y bueno, la doctora Ana Laura, estemos aquí presentes. Eh, les quiero decir que LCL eh, no es solo para México esta presentación, es para toda Latinoamérica, eh, todos los amigos que, que seguimos a Mitch Fresnick en este curso y que para nosotros es muy importante que estemos siempre dispuestos a aprender de una manera creativa, y aprender en colaboración. Y bueno, 
tanto Carolina como Lili, como Carmelo, eh, estamos eh, y con Lula, estamos trabajando para unir a todo este equipo de personas eh, en, en un reto que es aprender todos juntos y de manera muy divertida, muy lúdica y muy amistosa. Y bueno, ahora les van a presentar lo que significa Learning Creative Learning. Y quiero mostrarles que traigo mi gorra con LCL y Simul Puppet aquí enfrente, ¿sí? Porque Simul Puppet es eh, la inspiración de este proyecto. Muchas gracias y empezamos la función. Gracias. Thank you very much. Gracias, Vero. Thank you. Um, so now we can get started and share some more about the course itself. Um, so Learning Creative Learning is a free, open, online, six-week course and ongoing community. And it's designed to um, share and experience strategies for people who are interested in creative learning, um, mostly educators. I can share my screen and quickly show you um, the course page. I hope that this looks all right. Yes, <laughs> great. Um, so this is the course website. This is where we share materials. And you can see here that we are launching a new round on Monday, which you are all very invited to. Um, and every week there's new materials that we share around this core framework of the four Ps of creative learning, which is projects, passion, peers, and play. And the idea is that learners can um, learn by creating projects based on their interests in collaboration with peers and in a playful spirit. And I will pass to Carolina to share more about the um, community aspect of the course. Sí. Entonces, uh, LCL es una comunidad global y hacen parte educadores como profesores, um, familias, uh, uh, investigadores, Uh, diseñistas, designers y muchos otros, uh, muchas otras otras personas que hay uh, que hagan interés en el aprendizaje creativo y cómo tornar uh, la experiencia de aprendizaje más significativa um, y, y con o, con esta um, colaboración con otras personas y con otros niños y también uh, de una forma muy divertida pero que hasta Uh, sentido y muy uh, sin, significado. Y, destra, y, y el CL es traducido para, más, para ocho, ocho idiomas, ¿sí? uh, incluyendo uh, claramente el español. Y, y ya son parte de personas del mundo todo que también son uh, parte de este, de este equipo de facilitadores, de personas que están conozco que hacen parte de esta comunidad organizando uh, el CL y también um, uh, dando las buenas vindas, se puede decir así, para la comunidad global. Uh, sí. So, um... <laughs> which language? English for now. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, um, in learning creative, ¿qué es creativo? ¿Qué es el aprendimiento creativo? Esa es la, la, la cuestión. ¿Qué, qué es? Uh, for, for us, es cuatro cosas. Um, es cuando um, se aprende uh, a través de pro, pro, proyectos. Uh, making, creating, create something is creative learning. And then uh, there is like a uh, passion. Let me just share the screen just for you to see it. So, um, so nos exploramos aprender con proyectos. Um, pasión, so proyectos que no somos interesados o que los estudiantes, los estudiantes son interesados, no all proyectos, but like uh, construir su interés de, de, de los niños. And then uh, pares, because todos are, uh, todos are learner, todos aprendimos uh, together. Uh, so 
es muy importante que es, de, que, que es una colaboración uh, en juego. Es, like, es muy importante que nos jugamos y es like um, we, we, we take risks, we try new things, we tinker, we say tinkering. And so, vamos a comenzar hablando de projetos. And projetos um, means that um, noi creemos que personas imparan, eh, aprenden mejor, mejor cuando es activamente uh, creando, produciendo cualquier cosa. Porque cuando tú creas some, cualcosa, uh, tu mente crea cualquier cosa. Uh, la, la construcción de cualquier cosa en el mundo es, es siempre asociada a la uh, construcción de conocencia nella, nella cabeza, nella, nella, nella mente delle persone. Uh, e um, so in LCL we, um, nos invitiamo uh, le educatori a pensare quando, uh, quando è sul, uh, una, una, una one, one time, una volta, che tu hai apprendito qualche cosa attraverso un progetto. E quando è che tu, come tu Uh, um, uh, pro, uh, co como, como tu crea oportunidades por tu estudiante de crear a través del proyecto. Estas son uh, um, uh, cuestiones, like do domande, <laughs> uh, que noi, um, de, that we ask, that we que diamo to, uh, to, to participants. Um, and we would like to ask you, we, uh, nos volemos Um, um, what is it? Ask, uh, chieder, uh, preguntar. Preguntar. Nos volemos <laughs> preguntar to le, le personas que están en la YouTube chat uh, de telas um, uh, cuan, um, cuál es un proyecto que vos estás elaborando, cuál es un, un, un trabajando, cuál es un proyecto que vos estudiantes um, Um, are trabajando. I'm so sorry. That, um... No, Carmelo, lo que quieres es que nos escriban en qué proyectos están trabajando con sus, este, con sus estudiantes, ¿no? Si nos participan, por favor, a través del chat, en qué proyectos están trabajando con sus estudiantes. Eh, yo quisiera comentar que eh, el SL eh, tiene facilitadores, como ellos los están diciendo, que en este caso estamos Lula, estamos, estoy yo, y están otros colegas de diferentes países para poder apoyar a todos aquellos que no hablan inglés. Entonces, no hay ningún pretexto de que yo no entiendo, porque hay muchas cosas que están con traducción, la gran mayoría de los documentos, la gran mayoría de los videos tienen traducción, y para cualquier situación estamos un grupo de parlantes de distintos idiomas para apoyarnos entre nosotros. Somos colaboradores de Learning Creative Learning, aprendiendo creativamente. Gracias. Entonces, les pedimos en el chat si nos pueden ayudar a contestarnos qué estás haciendo ahorita, qué proyecto estás haciendo ahorita con tus estudiantes para que podamos hacer más rica esta conversación. Les sal los saludan de muchas partes de México y de Latinoamérica, como Colombia, como Argentina, como Brasil, hasta ahora. España también. España. <ríe> Tenemos gente de La Rioja. Uh -huh. Sí. Uh -huh. También es Lili. importante que, que ah, ellos hablaron de cuatro P's hace un momento. Habló Carmelo de proyectos. Todo mundo tenemos un proyecto y como educadores tenemos la pasión por esos proyectos y el juego es parte importantísima, pero es, no es un juego eh, simple, tiene que ser un juego que construya. Y también hacerlo entre pares. Por eso estamos aquí colaborando, colaborando con ellos y colaborando con todos. 
Gracias. Carmelo. Habla en inglés Gracias, para pero... que sea más fácil. Hablen en inglés, ¿sí? Para que sea más fácil. Sí, bueno. Lily, are you there? <laughs> Una cosa. So, maybe sí. one thing go, go, while, go. while Lily uh, comes back. I wanted to share one, one thing as Vero was talking about the people from all over the world. I'm going to show you a map of last year participants. Can you see it? Okay. So this is a map of all the participants of the LCL in uh, 2019. And we're so happy to see so many people in Mexico and America Latina. And as as una comunidad internacional, and we like that it's like very international. Uh, okay, y, is Lily muy, back? Mucho, mucho bien representada por Lula, Ibero, acá. We have an we have an answer from the audience. They say uh, Maria Elena is working with Day of the Dead and the immigrants. It's one of the projects that she's working. Maria Elena is... nos comparte que está trabajando con el Día de Muertos y los inmigrantes. That's beautiful. And we love to see when people create projects that are meaningful in their culture, in their in, in their context, because LCL is a place where you can share your culture with people from all over the world. So it's a beautiful. Uh, gracias, Maria Elena, por compartir. Thank you. Also, they talk uh, from La Meikeria, Miss Evelyn says that she's working in the Scratch Junior with the migration of the butterfly, the monarch butterfly, with a lot of passion. Oh, <laughs> that's perfect for uh, our next our next uh, P, which is passion. And um, we in the in in LCL often talk about the importance of building on interests to learning. Um, and we try in the course to support people in making these personal connections to the material um, so that they can be working on things that they really care about and are engaged with. And we see that people, when they're working on things that they're passionate about, you know, they work longer and they're really in, in invested and can find out new things. Um, one thing that we do in the course is ask people in the very beginning to share a childhood object, something from when they were young that had a big influence on their learning. Actually, I can show you quickly what that looks like. So this is the discussion forum in LCL. It's one of the places where people can share what they're working on and reflecting. And I'll go here to the Spanish language group. So these are all different posts by people who are participating in the course. And in the very beginning, we ask people, um, we invite them to share a childhood object, something that was a big influence for them and their youth. And then we love seeing like the different things that people share. Um, sometimes people have photos. Um, they talk about, you know, uh, toys and things that they used to build with. Um, all kinds of different things. Oh, there's Vero. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, and and um, really happy to see the way people bring themselves into the course and into the material um, through this like, kind of passion. And we try to design these activities to be supporting, kind of open-ended, um, you know, bringing, bringing whatever you want to have uh, in the work and what's relevant to you. I will. And do you wanna like, I, we have this also like, if you wanna share in the chat about this, like a child object that, uh, you know, was uh, really meaningful to you and why, or something that, or a project that you yourself like is working right now that is really meaningful to you. 
this could also be or something that you're working on that you are, have been really passionate about and putting a lot of effort on it because you really love it we would love to to know more about it too and um also like so we, have, we were talking about projects that are really meaningful that we are passionate about and and in creative learning we also talk about you know creating this uh, project that is meaningful and with peers like with people and collaborating with other people and in lcl itself we have um so we design also like this sort of experience for people who are participating and for the community so uh there are many many ways of participating and getting in contact with other people and um, so, yeah, from the discussion forum, as Lily was, was sharing uh, in the screen, like, you know, when you share a childhood object, probably someone had, you know, a similar experience and this is going to start a conversation and may, many people interact from there. Uh, and, you know, things just resonate with, with many people. But um, we also uh, create these opportunities for live events when we can meet each other and getting, to, you know, get to know people like not uh, not only like who they are and where they are from, like understanding what they think and what are their reflections about the things that we have been learning through LCL course, but mainly uh, what can we learn from each other's experiences and uh, passions and things that we have been working on and creating. So, uh, so and also like this are in the shape of live conversations where we can, we can chat, you know, and also uh, this opportunity of creating together, working on a project together with We Scratch sessions that I think Carmelo can explain it uh, better a little uh, later. But uh, the main thing is just like that. It's just like creating these opportunities for people to uh, get together, to meet, to share their ideas, projects, things in, that they are interested in, and uh, mainly like having some fun and making of this learning moment, this learning opportunity of learning, creative learning, a really um, playful experience. And why playful? I think Carmel is going to tell us about that. Carolina nos está invitando a jugar, ¿no? Entonces, a que participemos jugando para poner en, en actividad una de las PES, no nada más la pasión y, este, y el proyecto, sino también el play. Vamos a jugar ¿no? con la P de play. Eh, yo podría apoyar un poco esta idea de Carolina al decir que yo traigo puesta una gorra, que es un objeto. En esta gorra tengo puesto un proyecto, que en este caso es LCL, Uso, juego con ellos porque uso eh, mis Legos que me encantan, me apasionan. Me encanta saber sobre Simu Puppert y tengo a mis colaboradores que son mi equipo de los educreativos que siempre vamos a traer una gorra creativa para hacer proyectos y nosotros siempre trabajamos en proyectos en nuestras actividades como esta de hacer una gorra de learning, creative learning, o de lo que el tema que sea. Y, eh, y eso se conjunta en una sola, en un solo momento. Y a partir de un proyecto tan simple como es este, eh, podemos crear eh, momentos de aprendizaje. Gracias, Carmelito. Y gracias, sí, gracias, Lili, y gracias Carolina. Uh, yes, I think... When we think of play, we think about playfulness. We think about the spirit of play. We think of um, engaging with uh, uh, tinkering, with try, exper experimentación and, and exploración. Es, es un estado mental uh, el juego. And, uh, and invitamos uh, uh, participantes uh, a ser, um, a jugar. Um, but play doesn't only mean to be happy, la alegría, but also means taking risks, uh, making mistakes. Uh, to, and uh, um, we try to do our best, uh, probamos, a crear un ambiente, a crear una, un environment 
donde eh, todos pueden um, cometer uh, errores. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to say mistakes, but um, everyone can make mistake and it's totally okay. There is no evaluation, no certification, there is no uh, final marks or exam. We create an environment where everybody can experiment as much or as little as they as they want. And maybe someone can help me translate this last part. Some, some in the chat are telling us that they had a, a doll called Buba, the Buba doll. And here in Mexico, we have a, a game that we use like, um, it's called Valero. You place it on top of a, uh, like a stick. <laughs> it's wood, yes. On top of a, of a stick, they're, they're telling you. So cool. you, I wish I could see photo, uh, you know, I yeah. we're hearing yeah. about people's experiences and how often we have these shared experiences from childhood. Um, well, in the very, after we've spent all this time in the course exploring these four Ps together, we like to spend some time at the end thinking together about um, how we'll put these into practice in our own lives and in our work um, and to think together about what it will mean to try to create a more creative society um, for ourselves and for, for students. Um, so one of the things that's really um, nice about the very end is hearing from people about what they're thinking about doing in the future in their work and also looking back. So we ask people um, to share how their thinking has changed we say, um, I used to think and now I think. And um, this kind of process of reflection is big, is very important to LCL as well. Um, and, and sharing that reflection together um, so that we can then continue on, even though the course is over, the six weeks are over, um, you know, everyone is continuing on in their work as creative learners. And you have met people on the way who can help you um, and continue to be peers, which I, I think it would be great actually to talk about like LCL in Mexico. And we are fortunate here to be with Vera and Lula who have done so much work on supporting educators and they're ongoing in their practice. Um, so I would love to hear, pass to you and hear more. Okay, also they're telling us that they, some of them like to play with marbles. Lula, Lula, Lina? can I tell you? <laughs> we are mixing lots of uh, languages but you're very welcome to speak in uh in spanish if you want i would like to share the, the your lcl community experience with everyone pero nos nos están nos están pidiendo nos dicen que nosotros también les compartamos cuál ha sido la experiencia de estos años verónica y yo y muchos amigos de la comunidad eh, latinoamericana hemos experimentado esta, esta, esta alegría de trabajar con las cuatro P's, como dicen ellos, eh, constantemente. Y la idea, la idea que nosotros siempre hemos tratado de compartir es que no importa el idioma y la barrera, sino es la acción. Esta idea que dice Carmelo, que la llevamos a la acción, que la llevamos a hacer, y nos va a dar las cuatro P's cuando estamos colaborando. Eh, el, el curso va a comenzar el lunes, el 19 de octubre, y en, el, y en el chat vamos a poner la liga por si se quieren inscribir y vivir la experiencia. Esta experiencia muy, muy importante que además te conecta con muchas personas en el mundo. En este momento... Eh, tenemos a Carolina que está en Brasil, a Carmelo que está en Boston, pero es de Italia, a Ana Laura y a Verónica que están en la Ciudad de México, nuestros compañeros de TI que están en la Ciudad de México, Cintia está en la Ciudad de México, Manuel que nos ayuda a traducir está en el norte de la República y Lili está también en Estados Unidos, en Boston. Entonces 
estamos tratando de, de dar el ejemplo de cómo podemos hacer esto y cómo podemos animarnos a trabajar de esta manera para nuestros estudiantes, para que ellos también puedan vivir de la misma manera hoy en un mundo global. Yes. Creo que es totalmente cierto lo que Lula dice. Eh, más que un curso, más que un curso LCL es una filosofía de vida y además es un espacio de comunidad. Y bueno, eh, nosotros lo hemos vivido, Learning Creative Learning, LSL Latinoamérica, que donde tenemos eh, amigos de Colombia con los que no hemos estado físicamente, pero los tenemos siempre en el corazón, de Costa Rica, de Cuba, de eh, Venezuela, de Argentina, de Brasil, eh, no quiero que se me olvide ninguno, de Panamá, este... Y México, no se diga, porque ahí habemos de muchos lugares, eh, si se me olvidó alguno, di, eh, perdonen, pero eh, eh, cuando nosotros eh, nos unimos, empezamos a lanzar una idea y alguien dice, yo voy a hacer un trabajo en tal lugar en Panamá, acaba de ser, hicieron un trabajo y los invito a que participen y entonces todo mundo alza la mano. Eh, nosotros en este momento estamos haciendo otro proyecto, invitamos al grupo y todo el mundo empieza a alzar la mano y empieza a decir, yo en qué coopero, eh, eso es una hermandad y la verdad esto es lo mejor que le puede pasar a una persona, tener amigos donde quiera, tenemos amigos donde quiera y cuando nos reunimos con Carmelo, con Lili, con Carolina, el Lula y yo en los eventos eh, de Learning Creative Learning, conocemos a mucha gente más con la que nos sentimos ahora conectados, gente de Turquía, gente de la India, gente de Canadá, gente de Inglaterra, gente de, de lugares muy lejanos, sí, y que nos acerca. Y cuando nos hablamos, nos platicamos, es como ahora en este momento está platicando con ellos. Sí utilizamos el idioma inglés para comunicarnos entre nosotros, pero cada quien con su acento, cada quien mete las palabras como lo hicimos en este momento. Y eso nos da opción de aprender muchas cosas. Yo les agradezco y agradezco a Mitch Resnick que haya hecho esta comunidad de Learning Creative Learning Aprendizaje Creativo. Muchas gracias a, por todo lo que nos enseñan. I have a question. Yo tengo una pregunta. ¿Cómo nace Learning Creative Learning? How, how did, did you get the idea to create this community? Um, I, I can talk to that. Um, so, Uh, learning creative learning uh, started in 2012, 2013, um, as an experiment from the lifelong kindergarten to make an online course to share the ideas of our group with the world. Um, I don't know if you want to translate that or I should try in my very poor Spanish. No. <laughs> Have closed caption happening. Okay, okay, good. Um, so I took LCL as a student uh, in 2013. I was, I was living in Italy and I, I uh, connected to the ideas and I connected to the people in learning creative learning. And then many years after, LCL uh, wasn't, uh, was only a first experiment and they didn't do it again after two times. And then when I was a student in the lifelong kindergarten group with other people, we decided to make it again because it was important for, for the world and to make it multi-language because we wanted everybody to have access to it. And so uh, this is the second, uh, the second version 
of uh, learning creative learning and Carolina and Lily and myself and other people in the group have been working to redesign it and to run several rounds at least once a year, sometimes twice. And we've been very fortunate to be able to work with the community facilitation team, which has really been key to the project growing and supporting local communities of learners, supporting different languages, um, contributing to thinking about facilitation and strategies in the work. And so that's a big thing that has been different about the second version that has allowed it to grow. So thank you, Lula and Vero. <laughs> Another question. How do you think it's important right now this message of making a world community for students and teachers? Yeah. I was about to say, nope. Carolina, can you please yeah. respond to this? We all have some. We, we can, yeah. Oh, no, okay. Um, I can start and then you continue, but like, I think, and as human beings, we are like, we need this social aspect of life, right? And this is not uh, limited to our personal life. This is also, you know, should be around our uh, professional and learning moments as well as we are learning, creative learning together with peers. But I think mainly these days, like we have been learning so much from the community this year during the during the pandemic. And uh, we have been um, testifying, I'm sorry, I'm speaking in English now, but I think it's bad. <laughs> we have been testifying how uh, LCL is a real community because people have been, you know, they were just like, we were all happy, you know, in, in, in March when we decided to, okay, let's host this extra LCL round this year because, you know, people, yeah, people just wanted that and needed that in order to have this safe community and this place where we could, uh, as educators and as uh, people, we could just go and play and have fun and see our friends. As Vero said, we have friends all over the world because of this community. And this is more important than ever. Like we see different uh, ways of thinking, different governments, different things running our lives in different ways, but it's, I don't know, it's just like a comfortable zone to understand that we are together in something and this is really, really special. I would like to add something. When you are working in a project, how do you, how, how are you, how do you share, how do you work with people? How do, how do they um, connect, uh, share their ideas? which is the dynamic of the group. Lily, wanna go? Sure, um, in terms of the, running the project itself, um, we've been really lucky to be able to work with so many people as part of the project. And um, I think it really has been kind of like a community of practice of us trying to together better understand how we can think about facilitation. And we're always experimenting every time we do the course. So this is, um, we start Monday with another round of the course, and this will be the sixth time that we've done it since 2017. Um, and every time we are coming together and having all kinds of meetings, <laughs> like maybe too many meetings, <laughs> we're very lucky to be able to be together and spend a lot of time together. Um, and everyone shares ideas and um, you know, we try to try some new things every time. Um, so I would say it is a, a collaboration. Um, and also there's a lot of space. We hope for people to be able to also try out things themselves. Like if someone's interested in trying a new part of a project or supporting a local community, there's a lot of room for, you know, finding your own path with an LCL. And so that's one of the things that we've also tried to design for is both collaborating together on a shared experience, but also 
allowing for a lot of personal agency and like how people are thinking about what they want to do within the community. So, Carmelo, you want to expand? <laughs> I want to add something uh, about the different ways that people can collaborate. Sometimes collaboration happens together, working together at the same thing. Sometimes collaboration happens by uh, remixing an idea that you saw of someone else and you build on that idea. LCL, this version of LCL builds of the work of other people before us. Everything in the world builds on other people's idea. And we like to think of that as a collaboration, like over different, in different times. And we want people to have opportunities to share their work with others so that others can take that work and remix it and, and make it something that they uh, want to build on. Um, and there are many other ways, but like, Remix is one of my favorite way of, of thinking of uh, collaboration. And we explored this in LCL. I also wanted to respond to Lula's question, like adding one thing that um, we usually don't talk about this, but I think it's important today. Um, why we do LCL as a global community, why we do it. I think it's important now because it is important to give a message to educators, to everybody in the world, that we are one, that there are a lot of uh, borders, you know, uh, between, between people, between countries. And with our work with LCL, we, we want to take, um, you know, we want to make bridges. In a, in a world in which people want to build walls, we want to, build bridges instead and connect people. I think it's important and I, it, it is uh, our way uh, to design for connection. And we hope that others take our example and design for connection and for inclusion. Beautiful, love it. Eso que dijo Carmelo eh, me recuerda que en la eh, anterior reunión, Linford, un compañero de Sudáfrica, él habló sobre una palabra hermosa que es Ubuntu. Y Ubuntu tiene que ver con que yo soy tú, yo soy yo a través de ti. Entonces todos tenemos un poco de ti del otro dentro de nosotros y esa palabra yo creo que es maravillosa y en nuestra lengua maya hay algo muy parecido y seguramente en otras en otras eh, comunidades hay eso de que yo soy yo a través de ti entonces eso es lo que busca eh, este este grupo de LCL en maya en maya es ilakesh alakesh yo soy tú tú eres yo Ah, y ahora, and now I would like to ask the group, how Scratch, the programming language of Scratch that is also part of the project, connects with the LCL project and also helps teachers and students to grow? Carmelo, you want to? Uh, okay, so, um, Scratch is a, uh, is a very famous project from our group and is a um, programming language for children. So it's um, a, a, a tool that children can use to make stories, animations, video games in the computer. Uh, and we want, it's important because we want children to use computers to create. Not to, not to watch or only to chat, but also to create. So I'm gonna show you um, how do, in LCL, uh, we use Scratch as one of the many materials that people can use to make projects. And we support uh, teachers to learn Scratch. So if you never seen Scratch, if you don't know what Scratch is, you can come to our online workshops 
on Wednesdays and learn with us. Um, so I'm gonna show you how this looks like. Let me share my screen. Um, let's see. Can you see it? Um, it's a, it's a video, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use it more as a as a slide. You know, we say creative learning. There's like four piece, and we try to make them online. So how does it look like? Um, and we use this tool, let me see, uh, it's called an Hangout. Uh, and so in the beginning, we, we share some uh, uh, projects. This is like Scratch, how it works. You have characters, you have blocks, and you can use these blocks to make animations, stories. The cat can talk, can move, and you can put your objects inside. So we show people the basics uh, in, and people respond in multiple languages. And then there are like breakout rooms. So based on your language, you go to a room, you meet new people, and then you start using Scratch with others. And so you can ask questions, you can inspire others and uh, and you can spend about one hour playing and tinkering and experimenting. And then at the end, we come back together and we show the project that people have done. So in, in short, Scratch is a tool to create with computers. It's for children, but it's also for educators and for everybody. And we have workshops during LCL for everybody to learn Scratch in a creative way. How do you define creativity and innovation? Two words that are very, very important at this moment. I mean, it's a big question. I mean, in, in, in LCL, we're always talking, bringing it back to the four Ps as what, you know, creative learning is uh, what the approach is that we're striving for of creating the space where students are working on projects connected to their interests in collaboration with peers and in a playful spirit. Um, but, you know, I think that we, everybody brings their own also sort of personal why to the course and their motivations. And that's one of the things that's been great to hear about. Um, so maybe everybody in the course might give a slightly different definition of what creativity means to them. You know, like I think for me, a lot of it is about the ability to be imagining new possibilities in the world and trying to get there together. Um, and that's one of the things that's special to me about thinking about creative learning is, is um, helping people together get from ideas to action. Um, but I think everyone in the course gives a, brings their own, you know, their own history and hopes to LCL. Um, you know, Carolina, if you. Okay, yeah. thanks. Yeah. Um, one thing, like, um, I guess more than what is creativity is like, how can we encourage kids, adults, like to understand that they can create, you know, we can bring these opportunities and design experiences in a sense that people have the space and the opportunity to uh, be creative and to express themselves, which is, you know, putting in other words, like expressing themselves in different ways, in a creative way, uh, together with peers, in a meaningful way, in a playful spirit. So um, I guess this is what we have been trying to, to bring, you know, to create for the community, like this opportunity, uh, in order for people to also get inspired, educators mainly, to also create these opportunities of um, creativity for others. Yes, because there is a, this paradigm that uh, says that only genius are able to be creative. No? Um, I <laughs> imagine you are working against, against this idea, no? Definitely, yeah. And definitely against the idea of the genius all on their own coming up with things, you know? It's really about yeah. community and this social context of learning. Mm -hmm. Thanks. Thanks, Carolina.
So that is very important that they say that genius create alone and they are creative because they are alone. Mm -hmm. So in this community and this proposal that we have, that you have, it's the other way around because we need to know about the other and others. So as you said, you have many materials to work in learning, creative learning, workshop and beyond. Yes? Yes. And actually, I have a question for Vero. I mean, this Vero, you've been doing so much amazing work in supporting like the, a, a community of thinking about these ideas together and growing together. And I'm curious to hear about how you started thinking through, like approach that work at the beginning yourself and some of the things that you're hoping to do in the future. I'm going to say it in Spanish and you can read it in English. Bien, eh, para mí es muy importante y siempre lo ha sido eh, el crear comunidades, ¿sí? El trabajo, yo tra soy educadora, I'm a kindergarten teacher. Las educadoras tenemos por obligación que eh, trabajar en, en equipo. Los niños no pueden aprender solos, ¿sí? Tienen que aprender de los demás. Y ese trabajo me ha, me ha ayudado a mí a crear siempre eh, comunidades. Eh, cuando tú empiezas a, hablar, a pensar solo en ti, entonces ya es más difícil. Tú tienes que pensar en los otros. Y cuando empiezas a pensar en los otros, te es más fácil organizar. Eh, les quiero decir que el día de ayer tuvimos un evento, estamos en un proyecto con el grupo de Chiapas, maestros de lengua indígena, maestros que hablan dos lenguas, que es la lengua materna y, la lengua, y el español. Y ayer les presentamos Scratch. Fue la primera vez que ellas escucharon hablar de Scratch. Y fue hermoso, yo quiero compartir, porque fue hermoso como dijeron ellas que, que habían encontrado una herramienta maravillosa que les puede servir para trabajar con sus niños, aunque no tengan computadoras, aunque no tengan el, eh, tabletas, aunque no tengan otras cosas, pero ya tienen la idea de lo que se puede hacer. Y, y, y bueno, fue muy bonito. Eh, yo voy a seguir con ustedes mostrándoles el trabajo, pero, pero fue muy lindo saber que las maestras de escuelas indígenas en Chiapas se entusiasmaran con Scratch. Yo me siento muy, muy feliz por, eso, eso, por haber logrado eso. Y bueno, yo creo que lo más importante es la palabra que hemos estado trabajando, empatía, causar empatía en los demás. Y eso es eh, eh, de, decir, tú eres creador, tú eres creativo. Una maestra dijo, es que yo nunca hubiera imaginado poder hacerlo. Pues sí, tú sí puedes, ¿sí? Entonces, en eso, y lo que no sepas, yo te ayudo. Entonces, esa es una forma muy particular de podernos ayudar. Y pasa lo mismo con el en Latinoamérica, que cuando alguien alza la mano y dice, necesito esto, cinco contestan, cinco, seis contestan. Cada uno da su versión de lo que puede servir para contestar esa pregunta. Y eso es una comunidad. Y yo le agradezco a LCL que hayan tenido confianza en nosotros para poder apoyarlos en, como facilitadores en el curso. Y, y sabemos que el lunes todos juntos ya para, para estar en LCL el, nuevamente en el curso de este 19 de octubre. Gracias, Lili. Y Gracias, darnos esta oportunidad de, como mencionan aquí en el, en el chat, ¿no? Abolir esta idea de que el genio se cre este, crea solo, que dice Irma Curetots, ¿no? O sea, este, qué importante sentirnos todos con la capacidad de crear, ¿no? Con la capacidad de innovar en el, en el contexto de un grupo que te apoya, ¿no? 
We have a very interesting question in the chat. I will say it in English and then in Spanish. Bonato Montesinos Arias says that the ideas, you can share the ideas to work with children and parents, family, in an initial way, in a starting way, in, multi in multicultural context. Can you share the ideas to work with children and parents as a family, as for initial basis? In multicultural context? Very hard, good and hard question. <laughs> uh, and uh, I'm not a parent, uh, but I think that parents are, it's the hardest, uh, hardest um, uh, job in the world because you don't have instruction <laughs> and it's very, very important task, <laughs> right? So um, I don't know if I have a suggestion, but maybe one thing that I see as, a, as an uncle or as an educator that works well and I, I enjoy and the kids enjoy, it's just like playing, <laughs> it's simple. Just like playing together and, 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 and having opportunities to create together anything you can cook together you can uh, um you know uh, play with construction blocks together you can um just like having the time together uh it's such an important thing and just like whatever quality time means to you in your context i think it's a it's a simple thing maybe maybe doesn't seem like so you know um but it's, uh, it's, I believe personally that that is an important thing. And as a group who thinks about the creative process and creating together, I think that anything that you can create with your child is an opportunity to create that connection. And it's something that you will always remember and it will, uh, it will bring something to you as you grow. I don't know uh, what other people think. Yeah, and I think like um, in the whole package of, you know, creating something meaningful in collaboration with others. And I think LCL inspires us to that, like to this global community of different uh, point of views, different cultures. And this should be something like that is like in the daily life of learning of kids as well, like understanding how to, you know, um, like working collaboration with others means understanding other points of views, like understanding how this other people, how this other person grew up, what is her or his context? How can we work together? How can this, you know, value our differences and not like put us apart uh, with walls as Carmelo was saying. So maybe like, yes. And this playful, playness, playfulness aspect, like it's just like, we have been seeing uh, educators this year having to stay at home all the time, many of them with their kids, with their children, and also like uh, doing remote classes to their students. And uh, the, the idea is just that, like, you know, enjoy this moment, play a lot and see playing as a learning moment as well, because this is also a learning opportunity. Oh, time is going, <laughs> time is finishing. We would like to ask you to send one message to our friends in the chat, in the YouTube channel, so we can finish this beautiful work talking about the most important task right now in the world that is what Carmelo just said, creating bridges so there are no walls. Thank you. So learning, creative learning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And we hope that you will join us because we would love to see you. Um, we're starting on Monday again and exploring um, the course together and everyone is welcome. Carol. Um, sí. <laughs> Muchas gracias a todos, a Lula, a Vero, a Ana, a Cynthia, a todos que están organizando este webinar. 
Y yo tengo que decir que hoy es el día de profesores en Brasil. Y yo quiero sal saludar a todos los profesores maestros de, de América Latina y del mundo porque es muy, muy importante lo que hagan. Yo pienso que es la profesión más importante del mundo. Entonces, congratulaciones y espero que podamos nos encontrar en el cielo. Sí, muchas gracias. Uh, gracias, gracias a todos. I, uh, I also hope to see you on LCL. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, what we say in, in sometimes in, in LCL is like happy creative learning. Uh, feliz aprendizaje creativo a todos. Gracias. No falten. Los esperamos en el próximo lunes 19 a todo el mundo. Date la oportunidad. Muchas gracias.